Hello everyone, in this video I am going to share my non-professional guide for painting a portrait for beginners. The truth about painting a portrait is that it is not easy to draw a portrait. It is really hard. Unless you have years of experience or proper art education, it will take another level of effort for you to draw a portrait. At least for a person like me who haven't learned art from anywhere. So I didn't learn art from anywhere and I didn't go to art school. So in the beginning, I used to draw cartoons i would try to draw a person but it will end up looking like cartoons even worse than cartoon even cartoons are cute so i used some little tricks to help me begin painting and i'll share those tricks with you too And this video is only for beginners if you are intermediate level then this video is not for you this video is only for people who want to draw but they end up drawing a cartoon too like me like i used to do first of all I admit that painting a portrait is hard it's not easy um, for non-professional painters it's not easy now, it might be easy for professional painters but for non-professional painters and beginners it's very hard it's very hard for me too and i'm a person who loves art who loves to paint with colors and who love to make crafts but when it comes to paint a face i get intimidated and it is not something that is in my comfort zone like i can do anything artistic and i will do it effortlessly but when it comes to paint a portrait i have to push my comfort zone i was scared of making this portrait too that i will make something bad and every single time this happens i think that i will ruin my painting but at the end somehow it looks like a person so let me share my simple tricks that help me paint a portrait first tip for you as a beginner is if you are a beginner don't try to paint someone you know if you know someone and like you know a face and you paint it then it will end up looking like a different person and you will feel embarrassed and you will feel bad about your art and when you are choosing image from google or any image site then choose an image which doesn't have much details like it looks easy to draw uh, right now i'm painting a portrait that doesn't have so many details i am not focused on her hair i am not focused on her neck i am only focused on her face because i am painting after a long time too and don't try to imagine from your mind and draw it you can draw from your mind you have to have some image you have to take a reference photo from google or anywhere and then you have to use it to help you to draw so after you choose an image then you have to take measurements you have to measure the painting use grid method in this painting i'm not using any method i'm drawing by hand but uh, if you are a beginner you have to take measurements you can draw without taking measurements so to take measurements use anything that can help you to take exact measurements of your portrait and try to take paper or your canvas has the same ratio as the image and it will help you draw better you can use grid method too in grid method you 
draw boxes on your paper where you are going to draw and you draw boxes like uh, the same ratio boxes on your picture as well um, i will i will make a video on grid matter too and but you will find so many videos on internet about grid method but i will try to make a video on it as well i'll put the link here of grid method so after you choose your image after you choose your measurements first you have to draw and after you draw it with measurements then the colors um the colors the skin color it's very hard to paint an accurate skin color for beginners um, you will end up painting a mud skin or you will end up with your skin that is too whitish for me at least i couldn't judge my skin tones it's it's hard for beginners to judge by just eye to which color a painting is having uh, so by your skin color if you are painting with oil paints or with your um, with your acrylic paints just buy skin color too it is available in market instead of making your own color by skin color and then add some colors into it like i did in the beginning i added some colors in skin color to make a new color so after you choose skin color instead of making it darker with black just add some other colors like i did pink or red or i did green colors to give shadows i didn't use black or brown if when you look at picture you look like there is some brown or black color on face but if you do as a beginner your face will look very bad if you choose black or brown color to give shadows you instead you can choose other undertone skins to give shadows don't use black or brown to give shadows of your face and when you add colors on your paintings don't add one single color on a larger piece start adding colors gradually and add different colors like i'm not putting only skin color here i'm adding pinkish shade pink shadows too and keep giving colors gradually don't add just skin color on your nose and then give shadows this way by adding color gradually you will have a better idea of your pro portrait as you progress it and the last thing about beginners mistake is that they don't get to see the contrast of their photo you have to have enough darks and enough lights in your photo your contrast balance should be enough like your portrait areas that are dark should be darker enough and the, the areas that are lighter should be lighter enough so these were my four tips for beginners number one take your image properly take your image that has less details number two measurements take your measurements of your image accurately number three skin tones and number four darks and lights or contrast so as a beginner if you work on these four areas then you will be able to paint a portrait um, if not perfectly then at least uh, not like you used to do like if you are totally beginner and you work on these four tips then you will be able to paint way better these are the basic points that i consider when i'm painting I don't draw hyper realistic portraits now cuz I'm not so good at it. I try to do um, I try to make this one hyper realistic as well but it didn't work. Uh I haven't learned art from anywhere. I just use these tips to help me paint. I didn't learn it from any art school. so these are the tips that i learned from my experience i hope my experience can help anyone who is a beginner because i have suffered a lot when i was a beginner 
i still don't like to paint portraits but i'm doing it right now and uh, i am not so good at it i have a lot of mistakes i feel i could do it better if you are a beginner and you are painting portraits i told you to take an image that is not that is not a person you know because you can change the features of a face like i changed the feature of this girl this girl didn't look like this it she had different face but she is looking like a different person right now because it's an easier approach to draw someone you don't know you can use this tip and my other tips and uh, also let me know too in the comments that if your portraits improve by these tips i have increased the speed of this video a lot because most people don't like to watch longer videos if i could put it um, with less speed then it would be still a lot longer video because i finished this painting in three days and um it was a long video so if you want slower speed to observe the painting then you can do it in the setting and decrease the speed of my painting this voiceover is my first voiceover and i don't have a microphone i'm using my phone to record so ignore the mistakes and ignore the noise my painting is almost finished and if you are new to my channel then subscribe and hit bell icon and follow me on other social media if you like to and must comment if you if this video really helped you then comment down the video and that is all for this video mm, take care bye bye